the, just the arts in general, there's so much going on. You can get out there and speak to people. Yeah, yeah. How you find these things, out, you know? To those not familiar with the city, Aberdeen often seems to come up short culturally compared to the bigger cities on the central belt, such as Glasgow or Edinburgh. But if you look a little bit closer, you'll discover full communities thriving in the art sector. I visited just a couple of these places and spoke to a few of the residents who are striving to develop Aberdeen's cultural scene. Let's go and take a look. In a city often judged by its granite grey buildings, the new art festival has been working hard to add splashes of colour around every street corner. Launched in 2017, following the positive reception of the initial Painted Doors project, it is the only street art festival in Scotland, bringing famed artists from around the world to add a piece of Aberdeen's architecture to their portfolio. During the festival, which runs each summer, free walking tours can be booked, or you can set out to discover new pieces for yourself, which range from spanning full sides of buildings right down to tiny works waiting to be spotted. As you travel around the city's winding streets in search of painted doors and street art, you might stumble across live music ringing out from the green or the tunnels. Aberdeen has in the past produced globally famous musicians such as Annie Lennox and Emily Sandy, and the busy independent scene is as healthy as ever, from indie rock bands to the growing hip-hop community. One such artist, Jack Hughes, has been working hard in local communities, bringing music programmes to schools and collaborating with a range of musicians in the city, creating links between genres and forging new sounds for Aberdeen. He thinks the Granite City often gets a bad rap compared to the more visible scenes of Glasgow and Edinburgh, but believes that Aberdeen Star is on the rise. Yeah, so like um, Aberdeen, mad people, it's like totally slept on. Art, music, the art, just the arts in general, so much going on, totally overlooked, but I come see it coming, yeah. More examples of artists collaborating to lift each other and the local scene up can be found just off George Street at the Look Again pop-up art gallery. Since 2016, they have hosted a range of events and exhibitions throughout the year, all designed to connect, highlight and strengthen the creative sector in the northeast of Scotland. Most recently, Ika Hedlam of Big Up the Dean and Gary Kemp of Doric Skateboards collaborated on a clothing capsule available here, celebrating a range of artists and local businesses pushing the culture forward in Aberdeen. Both of them work tirelessly to raise the profile of the arts in the northeast and dispel the myth that there's not much going on. I was guilty of it, like in years gone by, of yeah. saying the same thing. But once you just get a peek under the hood and see things, you can kind of see that there's a lot going on. You know, yeah. the art gallery, there's lots of kind of development going on in different parts of the city. So there's plenty going on. Yeah, I think that's the thing is, is like you know, if we kind of delve a bit further, actually, what's happening? Yeah, kind of like you know, engaging. Online. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, 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 follow they're, different things. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a community feel. Situated in the city centre, the art gallery is the cultural hub of Aberdeen. Opening in 1885 and refurbished between 2015 and 2019, the art gallery recently was recognised as the best building in Scotland in the prestigious Royal Incorporation of Architects in Scotland Awards. Housing a range of works from the sculpture hall to paintings and prints right through to film and visual work, the gallery hosts a fantastic collection spanning world famous artists through to the next generation of talent graduating from the city. On the top floor you can also find the shop at the top, a space curated specially to highlight local artists working in ceramics, textiles and accessories. With all this on display in the heart of the city, it's not hard to see why Visit Scotland recently stated that the art gallery is a showstopper attraction that will underpin Aberdeen's cultural renaissance. For those looking to delve a bit further into the history of the city and its occupants, Provost House is a must visit. Opened to the public in 2021, the historic building dating from 1545 houses a celebration of Aberdonian residents who give the city its culture. More than a hundred remarkable individuals from Aberdeen and the Northeast are showcased in interactive displays, including innovators, scientists, writers, sporting champions, and stars of stage and screen. The Hall of Heroes display even allows for the public to vote on new additions to the exhibition, ensuring recognition for the many talents that have come from the region. Hopefully from this video, you've learned a little bit more about what's going on culturally in Aberdeen and the community is working hard to bring it to a wider audience. 
From the art gallery and the new artworks to the Provost House, there's so much to dive into involving Aberdeen's rich culture. But that's just a taste of what Aberdeen has to offer. Why don't you come visit us and discover even more?